Hello, we're back. Selena, Abby, and I have another geometry word to either share with you for the first time or review from your previous learning. Now, this is another one of our metal inset materials, and this is the square. So I'm going to pull out the square and set the frame off to the side. And we know this is a square because it has one, two, three, four equal sides. And that's what makes a square. Now, this is a, a large square, but what if I bring out this square? Is this a square? How do we know? It has four equal sides. Four equal sides. It also has four angles that are 90 degrees. That's what really makes a square because other quadrilaterals have four equal sides but aren't necessarily squares. Now, last time we talked about congruence and we talked about figures that are the same shape and the same size. We just talked that these are both squares, so they are the same shape. Now, are they the same size? No. No. But if I take this one and this one, and I think it'll be hard to see on the video, but you can trust me. I match these up and this corner matches. This corner's the same and these two sides are the same. You can see it there. Now I can slide this up and that corner matches and that corner matches and this corner matches all the same way. So we know that these are both squares and their angles and their sides match up. These two shapes are similar. They're the same shape, but they're a different size. Now, when we look in our green, um, green and red metal material, we also have one more of these special little squares. And we know that this is a square because it has four equal sides and four 90 degree angles. And four 90 degree angles. So this is a square, and this is a square, and this is a square, and if we match them up, their corners would match and their sides would match. Now, these are all the same shape, but different size. These are called similar figures. Can you say that? Similar figures. Similar figures. Similar figures. Did I say it weird? You do, you both said it weird. Oh. Figure. Figure. <laughs> you said figure. Okay, I'm going to move the whiteboard out of the way so we can look at some more figures. Okay, yes, I bumped that one once we had that material out. Okay, now I'm going to put all of these back in that we were looking at. And I would like Abby to start this time. Abby, can you pick a figure from the array we have? Ooh, what kind of a figure did you choose? I chose a rectangle. A rectangle. And we know it's a rectangle because it has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles. And the sides are not the same length. Okay, Selena, can you find a similar figure to this one? Oh, she also found a rectangle with two long sides and two short sides and four 90 degree angles. Let's match these up. We can see that the angle matches and the sides match as we move it around. So these two rectangles are the same shape, but different size. We call that? Similar. Similar. I almost said the wrong thing. I know. Okay, now Selena, you pick one this time. Ooh, Selena chose this triangle right here. Abby, can you choose a triangle that's similar to this triangle? Oh, she chose the little one. Does that look the same right there? There, now it looks the same. Same shape, different size. Watch this. Same shape, different size. Can anyone add on to what we've done? Same shape, same, same shape, different size. I think I said that wrong just a second ago. Same shape, they're all triangles and they all have one 90 degree angle. So if we match them up, you can see that angle matches and that angle matches and this angle matches. So these are all the same shape, but different sizes. 
Okay, we will leave these out and I'm gonna bring the whiteboard around to write you the definition. Okay, we're gonna line these guys back up. Can you help me line them up? So these triangles are similar. And similar comes to us from the Latin meaning similis, meaning the same. So we're going to write that here, Latin, similis. I want to check my spelling on that, hold on. Yep, and it means uh, to be like one another. They're similar, they are like. Not like I like peaches, but like um, of a kind. Okay, and now we're gonna write the definition right down here. Similar means shape, same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Okay, now I'm going to trace these ones at the top. Remember, if you're tracing at home, you can trace right along the edges. I don't want to get marker on our fancy material, so I'm just gonna go around the outsides. Okay, and just like our last last word, congruent, mathematicians like symbols. They don't like big long words that take up all their space. So they have a symbol for similar. It might look a little familiar because it was part of our last symbol. It is the little sideways squiggle. It's kind of like an S, but if it's reversed like backwards and turned on its side. So it's not quite like an S. This triangle is similar to this triangle, which is similar to this triangle and similar to this triangle. And you could keep going, you could keep going forever, bigger and smaller, because same shape, different size. I want to show you my journal entry for my similar work. It looks similar to your work the other day with congruence. And Again, I will post a picture so you don't have to you don't have to try to catch this or pause the video. There I have the word similarity. Similar and similarity mean the same thing. Latin for similis meaning like. There are two similar figures that I traced and cut out of pretty scrapbook paper. And then there's some pictures. These quadrilaterals are similar. These triangles are similar. And there's my definition at the bottom. Similar shapes are same shape, different size. And again, like I said, I will post a picture of this so that you can see it with, as you're doing your follow-up. I hope that you enjoyed exploring similar figures with us today. I know it's a little different when you don't get to move the figures around, but I bet at home you can find similar figures in your toy box, um, I'm thinking like your wooden building blocks or Legos, definitely in your Lego box. There's lots of opportunities to find similar figures. So for follow-up, don't just, I want you to do your journal page, but also think about how you can expand that out. Ooh, I just thought of something else. Maybe you have similar things in your silverware drawer. Sometimes you have big spoons and small spoons big forks and small forks. So look and see where you can find similar figures around your everyday life. We hope to see you next time. We, um, we are really happy to be here and sharing these lessons with you. Have a great day.